My name's Rob Johnson. I'm the chairman of the Clamberis Mountain Rescue Team, and today I'm going to show you what's inside a Mountain Rescue Team base. So let's go and have a look. So Clamberis Mountain Rescue Team is a team of volunteers. Um, we've got about 50 people on the team here to respond to emergency calls for help on the mountain. Um, as a team, we cover the mountain of Snowdon and then the Snowdon side of the Glidders, the Slate Quarries. So we get an average of about 180 call outs um, each year. We respond on, our, on behalf of the police. So if you need mountain rescue in the UK, you need to ring 999 and ask for the police and then they will um, action the local mountain rescue team. And um, we're based here in uh, Nant Paris, which is just up the hill from Clamoris um, towards Penna Pass on Snowdon. Um, and, uh, and this is our base, and I'm going to show you around and show you some of the kit that we've got. So this is our office or our control room, if you like. Um, this is where our jobs get run from. So um, the coordinator for the, for the call out will be based here. You can see the IT suite that I've got behind me. Um, so generally we'll have one person um, filling out a log and taking notes um, and uh, keeping all of the details up to date of who's going where and that sort of thing. Somebody else then running the job. So they'll be um, using the radios, using the telephone and just managing resources and deciding who needs to go where and what kit needs to go where and then liaising with the people on the hill. So as a rescue team, we try and make the decisions on the hill. We let the people on the hill lead um, the decision-making process in terms of perhaps which route they're going to take to find the casualty um, or which route they're going to take to get off the mountain um, and uh, what type of rigging they're going to need to um, deal with a technical rescue. But then back here, somebody needs to have an overview um, of what's happening, especially in those situations where your typical sort of August Saturday afternoon we'll have um, perhaps two or three rescues concurrently. We've had um, eight rescues running at the same time. That's the busiest that I've known it. Um, so the guys that are here, um, it can be pretty hectic, especially at the beginning of a job. Um, and uh, it's a good job when the weather's foul outside, but when the weather's nice, you don't want to be stuck in here really. So we've got um, some different radios, um, we have different channels to be able to liaise with people on different parts of the mountain. Um, we've got the, uh, the computers for the logs and we have um, mapping software on there so that we can keep a track of where people are in real time and, and plan routes. Um, we've got GPS mics on radios which allows us to see exactly where people are. Um, and then behind me we've got um, some um, personnel information, so we've got sort of um, 50 plus people on the team at the moment, all with different skills, and it's useful for the coordinate, coordinator to know who can do what. And then some general mapping, so for the days when the technology lets us down, we've still got the, the paper map and the photo map on the wall there. A range of climbing guidebooks, so if it's a fallen climber we're going to, um, and they give us a route that perhaps we haven't heard of. We can look up route names and uh, um, find out where they are. Um, and then a load of IT kit with printers and such like. And then at the other end of the wall, um, we've got a series of whiteboards. So the idea um, here is that we keep a track of um, who's gone where, what kit they've got with them, what their party call sign is. Um, and it's just a really nice visual way of keeping, uh, keeping an eye on, on who's doing what and where. Um, so on this board we'll keep a record of all the, the kit that's gone out. So why don't I take you into the next room now and show you some of the kit that we use. So in our kit store I'll just walk you around the room and show you some of the stuff that we've got. These are our um, stretchers, so these are bowel stretchers. We've got two of these. Um, these are sort of our heavy duty carrying stretchers really. And we've got wheels that will fit to them both as well. They come in two halves, so the main thing for us is to remember to take both halves on a rescue um, or it can be a bit embarrassing. Um, we've then got a lighter weight stretcher, so this one's made of titanium. Um, 
So we tend to use this on more technical rescues, maybe on cliff style rescues. Not so good for carrying people. They have, this one hasn't got fold out handles and skids that the bow stretchers have got, uh, but nice and light to carry into a crag and less clutter to snag on a crag for, for technical rescues. Um, a spare Titan stretcher and then our shelving racking. Um, and I'll just talk you through some of the kit that we've got on here. So at the top is our swift water rescue kit. So buoyancy aids um, and uh, uh, that sort of kit, dry suits. Um, this shelf is all what we call CAS bags, casualty bags, which are effectively sleeping bags um, for keeping people warm whilst we're carrying them down the mountain in a stretcher. And we've got various weights um, for various seasons. These are our first response bags. Um, so essentially first aid kits, which we take out on every job. And then some splints, self-explanatory. Um, here we've got um, a range of um, AEDs. I say a range, we've got three. Um, AEDs, which um, defibrillators in, a, in a sort of more common language, I suppose. Um, KEDs, these are extraction devices for getting people out of tight spaces. So typically used by the fire service to extricate people with a spinal problem from a confined space like a vehicle, but we would use them for extricating somebody from a confined space, say trapped between two boulders, for example. Um, we've then got some group shelters um, for keeping people warm whilst we're doing first aid. Um, oxygen and then Entonox, so gas and air for giving pain relief. Um, We've then got uh, a box of spares, and then at the bottom, um, these are our vacuum mattresses. Um, so uh, these are like a sleeping bag that you can put somebody in, which then you suck the air out of, and it becomes a full body splint. So for immobilizing people on a stretcher. Uh, locked cupboards for um, things that, we, uh, that easily go missing, like uh, Mars bars and batteries and that sort of thing. So that's all uh, locked away. Um, and then over here, we've got um, <coughs> smoke for um, helping the aircraft in terms of showing them what the wind direction is doing. Um, when I say aircraft, for us, that's a helicopter. Um, helmets and harnesses for more technical jobs. That's to give to people that we're rescuing who should probably have had theirs but, uh, but didn't. Uh, some wintry stuff. So we've got snow shovels, we've got avalanche probes, and then um, hidden behind the ladder here, we've got some rigging bags which is full of technical kit like carabiners and um, wires and quick draws and such like. And then some confidence ropes, just short ropes for um, helping people off sort of non-serious situations. And then at the bottom, a whole rack of different ropes and different rope lengths. So from 50 meters right the way through to, to 200 meters. And you can see on a job where you're having to carry um, two, a 200 meter rope, it's a fairly sizable piece of kit, which we're having to carry up in addition to our own rucksack and our own kit. Um, and then moving further along, we've got some first aid uh, restocking supplies, um, and then we house our radios, team radios. So that's, uh, that's our equipment. That's a quick overview of the equipment in the Clamberis Mountain Rescue Team storage base. So there we go, we've given you an insight into how Mountain Rescue works in the UK and some of the kit that we carry. It's a charitable organisation, so if you feel you're able to make a donation, you'll help these volunteers to provide the service that they provide in the mountains, and you can do that on any of the team's websites. And for us, Clamberis Mountain Rescue team is clamberismountainrescue.co.uk.